Hi, welcome to Wool Swap episode 24. Hope you're all doing okay this week. Um, coming to you from a very, very hot and steamy Brisbane today. I think it's like it's going to get to 31 degrees and I'm pretty certain it's already that now and it's about uh, well, quarter to 11 in the morning here. We've been for a walk today and come, come, come back and um, bit refreshed and got the aircon on today so we're all good and um, yeah so if you're wondering uh, if anyone hasn't heard of Wolfswap before it's a yarn matching service where I open it up every two months and I match you up with um, yarny lovers from around the world and currently I have the last swap for the year for 2020 um, going at the moment um, it's the November swap and it actually closes on the 15th so it's actually the 15th here in Brisbane but um, I keep it open for an, just an extra day to um, allow for uh, my overseas wool swappers to take part so if you wanted to try it um, make sure you get in you've got a few hours left and if you have been a wool swapper before and want to be part of the fun again um, join on in I'll put the details below, head on over, and um, yeah, so you don't miss out on all the fun. And also, uh, I'll just briefly go through all the, so each um, month I open it, I have um, vendors who are, are small businesses who sell indie dyed yarn, projects, bags, stitch markers, anything to kind of do with the yarny industry. So I'll just go through the list of that I have up for um, USA. So I have Knit in Nature, and she makes some um, project bags. She's from the USA. Um, we've got Twisted Fay Fiberworks from Canada. We've got Dream Fire Artesian Yarns from New Zealand. Um, we've got Teton Yarn Company from the USA. And we've got Over the Moon Yarn from Canada. And we've got Chickadee Fiber Arts. Uh, and we've got Tiny Teal Handcrafts from the UK. And we've also got uh, Wool Swap Shop, which is new and um, offering a discount there. So head on over and um, see if there's anything you like or like for yourself or for your Wool Swappers. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll put all the details below in my descriptions. So uh, this week I'm having um, a nice cup of tea doing my video. And the tea is courtesy of my lovely friend Heather from South Carolina and she popped this in a letter for me. Uh, uh, Heather is a wool swapper and she also has her own um, YouTube channel called Almost Tippy Knitter. So go check her out. And she's um, also my pen pal. So she sent me some lovely tea from Plantation Peach Tea from South Carolina where she's from. So. I'm having a cup of tea, so cheers Heather. Thank you so much. It smells very peachy. Yeah, good, refreshing. I like it, thank you. So today I'm gonna to talk about, I've got some happy mail. Um, I'm going to talk about a new knitting journal that I'm um, creating for myself and um, some work in progress of my knitting and an extra little tip but non-knitting um, tip bit at the end so happy mail so i've said um uh, in a few episodes that i joined um or i uh, purchased um three yarn advent calendars and also a new to me a stitch stitch marker advent calendar well i've um I'm waiting on, I was waiting on two more of the yarn ones to come and one came this this week and also the stitch advent calendar so I wanted to kind of just show you oh and I'm coming to you from my couch today just so sort of mix it up a little bit different so I wanted to show you I got a Mrs. G makes so the lovely Amanda hi Amanda I know you watch each week so thank you so much and thank you for um, telling me about this this is super cool um, it's a 2020 stitch marker advent calendar and it came in this lovely box 
which the post has made a little bit manked, but got here safely. So I'm going to show you some of it. Not, I'm not going to actually open any of the, so that you can see the stitch markers, because I've got to wait till the 1st of December. So she popped in a lovely little note to explain, I won't read it through, but she popped in a lovely little note to explain what to do. And this gorgeous, I don't sure mind, but I'll show the gorgeous bag. Love, love, love. Perfect size for socks, so thank you. And um, so what it is, it's it, you open up a envelope for each day of December for a stitch market. And she's put it on this little halo wooden ring that you can actually, it comes with a suction cap thing and you can actually attach it to either your window or she has a suggestion where you put it on the, the reefs that some people put on their doors. And the first one she's attached, so I'm not gonna open, but that's one. It looks really interesting. And then I have in the bag, I just took them all out of the box and they're all individually wrapped with a day on it. So each day I'm gonna go through and, oh, can't wait. So yeah, so next time I'm on, when it's December, I'll just be able to show you how many of many days um, have gone in the month, which stitch markers. But yeah, I just wanted to, it was so cool. So thank you so much, Amanda. Um, love, love, love. And it arrived in time, so no troubles there. So you've done a good job. So yay, that's my first little happy, happy mail. Yay, yay, yay. So thank you. The next lot is, um, I got a, I got one of my Advent yarn ones from, this one's come from Natural Fiber Arts, who is actually from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland. Um, and her name is Cheryl, and you should check, she's got a really cool website with all lovely stuff, so I will put her details below. I'll also put um, Amanda's, Mrs. G makes details below too, so you can go check out her little shop. So I have kind of, I've opened the box, but I haven't opened any of the little yarn things. So I'll just, so I chose the one 20 grams of yarn and then uh, for each day and then a 100 gram skein on um, for the 25th to open. And I have cheated and I have opened that one so I won't show you at all because I know there'll be people out there that are waiting. But it came in a lovely little box and then each little, so I've got all these little, so I'm not going to open them again. I'll just, oh, that one's peeking out, poking out. So yeah, so they're all numbered through 1 to 24 and then the, the main skein is the 25. So again, super exciting. Can't wait till the 1st of December. I'm quite surprised I haven't had a peek, but I haven't. Oh, I did open the 25th one, I said. But um, So what I'm going to do with this is I have mentioned before, I'm going to add this to my one that I already have from Misfits Yarns. And then I'm just waiting for one more set to come in from uh, Sweet Skeino Mine from Canada. It is on the way. So hopefully it's in the postal system and it shouldn't get it should get to me very soon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, knit up each day from each advent calendar. So day one from Misfits, day one from Natural Fiber, day one from Sweet Skein, I mind. And I'm going to knit into a short sleeved V-neck tee. So I can't wait to start that. So hopefully when I come on, if it's um, after the 1st of December, I should have some progress on that to show you as well because I'll show you what I've done because I'm just going to knit one of the colours every day and hopefully that's hopefully by the end I have something finished maybe who knows but yeah super exciting so now more happy mail this week I was a little bit overwhelmed by everything I got this week so I um, as I mentioned before whenever I have an um, a wool swap going and I get an uneven number register because with my wool swap you actually I swap you with one person and you exchange with each other so it's a good way to get to know and make a lot of new friends I know I've made a lot of wool swapper friends and I know a lot of them have made friends with each other as well so that's my whole aim of wool swap is to bring the Yarni community together 
Um, so whenever I have an uneven number, I actually swap myself. So um, this is around, I think it's gone so far back, I think back in July, I swapped with um, Angry in Germany. And we've had a bit of a long-winded hassle with all the parcels I've sent her one. It's got stuck in Germany and now apparently I think it's on its way back to me. So I don't know how long that will take, but maybe I'll see it come back. But in the meantime, and then she sent me one and it never arrived. So she, in the meantime, sent me another one. And that turned up this week. Um, so let me show you all the goodies that are in here. So I got this really cool project bag. I'm not sure if she's made it or not. Oh, it's got a, a little extra zipper there. I didn't notice that. I don't know if she's made it. I'll have to ask. And there's a little um, a rainbow pin. Cool. And inside... So this is another cool, because I have, I knit so many socks, but I don't have enough sock project bags, so this is, um, this is good. Or it could be dangerous because um, I could make me put too many pieces of socks on the needle. So inside there's some little goodies. So I've got this garment knit labels. So they're pretty cool. Stick on your knitting. So yeah, I like those. And then I've got, she's got me a, notebook you're just loving love a notebook this is like a dotted one so this will be good for like um i'm not i did try bullet journaling a few years ago but um yeah i kind of do some of it but yeah this will be good too oh i love it love notebooks thank you i have a collection uh ah some pretty cool washi tape because I've just started a new thing, which I'm gonna talk about at the end is um, snail mail. I've gotten back into writing letters to people and love it. So, and this says hello, it's a washi tape. That's cool. And, oh, and another little flowery washi tape. And some two little minis. So they're pretty cool. So I actually, I might, um, Add these to my scrappy tea as well. I think that's what I'll do. That'll be good. I don't know what sort of yarn. Uh, I'm assuming it's four ply, but yeah. This one's sparkly. It's got some Stellina in it. So that was all in there. Oh. And then, um, some German lollies and I couldn't help myself I have already had a peek and they are pretty cool it's just like juby kind of lollies now let's go down to the so we've got some yarns we've got this big giant ball here it's called red jean bargain mirage so this is cotton 50% cotton 50% poly acrylic so that's pretty cool and uh, it's a giant ball. Oh, it's 200 grams. It's massive. It's pretty cool. And then we've got some baby apaca, 50 grams. Made in Peru. Baby alpaca fingering. So this lovely color. And she's given also another colour there. Look at it's really soft. Yeah, 100% 100% alpaca. Haven't knitted with alpaca yet, but I think I might. This would be good to add in to mix it in with some soft yarn, like in a jumper or something, or the colour work or something. Because I'm kind of getting into the colour work that I've got a should sport me rotten I've got um, uh, Mala Brigo I think that's how you pronounce it Rios it's a pure merino superwash made in Peru and this is number 121 Marti so I think this is 
it's a bit heavier weight, it might be worsted weight. So maybe that would make a good beanie. So nice, all the rusted colours. Very cool. Uh, I've never had any of this. I have seen it around, but this is my first skein of this, so thank you. And the last one has no tag on it, but, and I think it's, feels like sock yarn, four ply. Let's check that out. Like, cool. I like the kind of greeny colours, aqua, browns. Yeah, so sorry, there's no tag on this one, so I don't know. So thank you very much, Angry. I love, love, love. So um, I have organized something extra special for her. So hopefully it's on its way to her. But yeah, was a little bit spoiled, I think. So yeah, that was my happy man. It came in a shoe box like this. I thought I was getting a pair of men's shoes. <laughs> yeah, but cool. So, oh, I'll just put that there. Oh, and the journal has to get back in there. So yeah, so love it when I get a little swap package. So if any of you um, out there watching have a YouTube channel where you open up your wool swap package, please comment below uh, or tag me so let me know so I can go and have a look because I just I love seeing what everyone gets. As you can see from all the photos I put up on Instagram, it's it's fantastic what, what everyone gets. So and don't forget too, with wool swap we also have um, there's two options. So you can do a minimalist one, which is just a minimum of hundred grams of yarn. Um, and a couple of extras because um, some some of the parcels are quite uh, large and um, that can be a bit daunting for some people I have had that feedback so I introduced a couple of months ago a minimalist option so you can tick um, either minimalist solely minimalist or you can tick both so which means that you don't mind being matched up with someone but again it's in it's what you and your wool swapper agree to so one of the biggest parts of wool swap is actually communicating with your wool swapper when I send out the matches um, and so you so everyone's aware of how much you're gonna send or you know what sort of not what sort of stuff but just I always say I'm gonna send like four or five skeins or three skeins or whatever it is at the time and that way you will swap a nose and then they're not going to be you know disappointed or you know, I, I think it kind of works out at best. And um, yeah, so don't forget that little hot tip. Um, okay, so, oh, I'll just, I will quickly show you, I've just been working on socks this week. I have been busy with um, the wool swap, like sending out all the welcome emails. So I haven't tended to do as much knitting this week, but last week I showed you my candy man, my paper, paper daisy creations. My completed sock and then I have this week cast on its mate and done the leg done the heel so I'm just I'm up just doing the decreases on the heel um, and then it'll be just straight knitting and then to the end so hopefully I'll have them finished this week and then that's another pair of the needles because uh, come 2021 and I say this every year but this year I might want to stick to it I'm gonna finish every single thing that's on my needles before I start another one so then my uh, my next custom will be my scrappy tea on the 1st of December and then that's it I'm not casting on anything new until I finish every work in progress that I have and I think I have about nine goodness so maybe this time next year I might get to. <laughs> no, won't be that. Won't be that far out. Um, let me know in the comments below how many uh, work in progresses you have. Okay, so I wanted to just quickly. I um. I wanted to be a bit more um, keep a track of what I've actually knitted, and more so the actual uh, type and name of the yarn and keep keep the little tag because I'm always I get so excited when I wind up the yarn that I 
just chuck the tack away straight away or I misplace it or whatever so I thought I would um, be a bit more uh, organized so I've managed to get myself a little journal I um, got given this in a um, I did a subscription box for a stationery box and it came in a, um, one of those and it's pretty cool so it's so I've called it my knitting projects and um, so it started it October so I, I've just put in my first lot so what I tend to I'm going to do it's a bit difficult to show you is I'm going to keep the tag with the details of what the yarn is and then just a little spell of the pattern when I started uh, when I started it when I finished it the pattern where the indie dies from and then I'm just going to attach a little bit of the yarn so I can remember. So, so far I've written in this one and then these one, this one doesn't have any yarn because it was a scrappy pair of socks. So, and I'm just going to just make it my fun own little thing. But um, yeah, comment below how you keep track of what you've knitted and keep track of all the tags and stuff. I know a lot of people do Ravelry, but oh, I don't know. I, I like pen and paper. So I like to just have it at a quick glance. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. So this is a cute little journal. And, and the good thing about it, it's like a little ring binder too. So I can move them around. I might put them in sections like um, I might have a sweater section and cardigan section, a hat section and socks section. So. so I will show you, this will get bigger and bigger as we go along on this my knitting journey. And if you wanna come along with me, that's great. So yeah, that's kind of cute. And um, I think that's about all my kind of knitting stuff this this um, week. But I wanted to just um, mention about I've got a new hobby, which is um, pen pals. So uh, years ago when I was a kid at school, I used to have quite a few pen pals. And over the years, I've actually gotten to meet a few of them, which has been super exciting. Um, but yeah, this year I decided to just reach out and try and find some new ones from around the world and I have managed to do that which is super exciting and this week I got I got some pretty cool happy mail so I got uh, I got some um, some mail from the Netherlands uh, and two from um, three from America and I think there's one more from Germany so I love it and I love just decorating the, um, I love decorating all the envelopes and stuff and all the stuff that comes. So it's super exciting. And, but I just want to show you that I have managed to, um, have a lovely pen pal, Henrietta in, um, Holland and she has, she makes the cutest little stuff that she puts in with it. So she has packed in like a little, lots of stickers and I won't take them out but lots of stickers and you might be able to see some lots of flowers and stuff and then she's made little cards where you can just pop up little loose bits of paper and stuff and it's great for exchanging and decorating my envelopes and stuff and then oh and she's made this cute little comes in a little packet and then I don't know and it's like a little flip book they're called Voila, and lots of goodies in there. So yeah, very, very spoiled. So I just start, oh, and there's some stuff on the back as well. But, so I'm just starting to get like a little bit more crafty and watching he, heaps of YouTube videos to make some of these myself. But I don't know, I thought some of you knitting folks, yarny folks might, have, might be interested in that. So yeah, super excited. And then she's made this envelope as well. Which is pretty cool. So she just put paper on it and a couple of stickers, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, so happy mail. And it's pretty. I, I really like sitting down and writing a letter and um, to people from across the world, learning about other people's cultures and um, how their day to day life goes. And um, yeah, I find it super cool. So let me know. 
Um, no, ben below if you're um, also into snail mail. And I do have, um, I know a couple of your subscribers are my pen pals already, so. Yeah, it's cool. So, um, all right, well that's, uh, that's about it for this week. So uh, I also just wanna thank all my new subscribers this week, so thank you very much. And um, if you're new and like what you see, just hit that subscribe button and um, I'm on here every week. So just sharing my kind of knitting world and a few other little bits and pieces. And um, yeah, so have a great week and I'll catch you next week.